What's up guys, it's Jose Zaniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today's video, I'm gonna go over 10 style tips that are just gonna completely change your life. These are some style tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way. Not only are you gonna just look more stylish, you're also gonna make your clothes last longer and also just make your whole styling process more efficient. Let's jump into it, we got 10. One, never hang your sweaters. This overstretches them out and if you put them on a hanger, it adds like little nipples on the shoulders which just ruins your garment. The best way to go is to always fold your sweaters and stack them up. Yeah, you saw that sweet fold, that's called the ninja fold and brings me to hack number two. To fold your t-shirts or your sweaters, it usually works better with short sleeves you can try the ninja fold. This, you pinch it on the shoulder, you pinch it in the middle of the t-shirt, you flip it around, and boom, you fold a t-shirt in two seconds. Number three comes with tailoring your clothes. When you buy something new, make sure you wash it at least twice before taking it to the tailor, because this is gonna shrink to its final stage, and make sure the tailoring your tailor does is actually proportionate to your body. If you tailor it without washing it, when you end up washing it, it's probably gonna be too tight. Number four comes with watches. I get the question all the time, what wrist do I wear my watch? There is no right or wrong answer, you can wear it on whichever wrist you'd like. The general rule however is that you wear it on the wrist that is opposite to the hand that you use most. So for example, me I'm a righty, I write with my right hand, so I wear my watch on the left hand. Vice versa, if you're a lefty you would wear your watch on the right hand. This I believe was to make sure your watch was not obtrusive, especially when you were writing. And for number five, let's talk about placement of your watch. This is something a lot of guys don't know. You don't want a baggy watch that doesn't fit your wrist and dangles on the bottom part of your wrist. You also don't want to restrict range of motion and have your watch feel uncomfortable all day. The right place to wear your watch is right behind your wrist bone. If you wear it higher up than that, it's going to be very uncomfortable and restrict your range of motion. As for that super sexy watch you see, no, that's not a thousand dollar timepiece. That's one of my classiest watches in my collection and you're spending well under 200 bucks for this thing. If you guys want to check out Vincero and pick yourself up a nice watch, especially like this one like I'm showing, I'm going to have this exact model linked down below. This is one of my favorite models from Vincero. Vincero is a sponsor of our show and I also got you guys a solid discount code that makes these watches so affordable. If you've never checked out Vincero, I'm going to have them linked down below. The cool thing with Vincero is that their whole line really focuses on that classy kind of dapper type of style that makes your wrist game look expensive even though the watches are crazy affordable. And to be able to deliver that type of classy style that looks expensive, they really do focus on quality. Let me tell you guys, all these watches are made with stainless steel. The leather bands are Italian leather bands, Japanese quartz movement. These things are durable and just made to last. They have several different type of collections. The one you see on my wrist right now and that I've been showing is the Chronograph Collection, one of my favorites. I really love the busy dial. I think it makes it a little bit more complex and just an interesting timepiece to have in my personal collection. But they also have simpler designs that make it easier to be able to dress down with even jeans and a t-shirt. That's what makes Vincero great. All in all, I believe Vincero watches is a great investment for any man to have, not only to pick up your style game, but just an awesome timepiece to have in a conversation starter. If you guys want to check it out, like I said, I'm going to have them linked below, including the model that I'm wearing right now, one of my favorites by far. Tip number six is to never put on a garment as soon as you're done ironing it. A lot of times you're done ironing a shirt, it looks super crisp and you throw it on immediately. What happens is it instantly creases. If you wanna keep that shirt as sharp as possible, let it sit there for five minutes. Go and do your hair or something then come back and put on the shirt. It's gonna last longer being wrinkle free. Number seven is for all my short gentlemen out. So when it comes to short guys, if you wanna look a little bit more elongated, a little bit taller, stick to a monochromatic outfit. Wearing all the same color makes guys just look taller. It just gives you a clean, seamless look with no interruptions. Since there are no interruptions to ICs, it just makes you look more elongated as opposed to you, for example, color blocking, which instantly chops your image in half and tends to make you look shorter. On the other hand, these are for my friends that are a little bit on the heavy set side. If you're on the heavier side and on a day, let's say you just want to look a little bit leaner, a little bit more buff, even more fit, stick to darker color. I've heard that the theory tends to be that your eyes see darker colors smaller. Now, I don't know if this is true, but judging just from the science of my own eyes, when I see a guy in dark colors, he just looks sleeker and thinner. Number nine is about straightening your hair without using heat. I know, there's a way to do it. So if there's a morning where you just don't have time to use a blow dryer or straightener, or you don't wanna use it to damage your hair, you can use a hat. 
My tip is just spray in a little bit of leave-in conditioner, comb your hair to whatever side you want it to lay, and then put on a hat. You want to leave this hat on for anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Do that process, then go make your breakfast, brush your teeth, do everything else that you need to do. Take your hat off and you're gonna notice that your hair is gonna be laying straighter than it was before. And finally, number 10, I did a whole video about this recently and it's all about making an outfit that's boring more stylish and you do that with jewelry. If you're wearing an outfit and you think it's a little bit bland, it's just not stylish enough and you wanna pick up your style, make sure you invest in jewelry. Everything from watches to bracelets to rings to necklace. You just don't wanna overdo it but finding the right type of jewelry to wear in a situation can instantly make your outfit look cooler with only two seconds of work. All right, boys, that's it for today's video. Those are 10 style tips and tricks that are completely change your life and increase your style. If you guys agreed and liked this video, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And finally, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Vincero. That's it for me today. See you next time.